Ehlers-Danlos syndrome is, as we all know, a genetic condition where the person has hyperextensibility of the collagen. The bones of the body are connected by ligaments. So uh, people who have joint hypermobility or extra flexibility or genetic conditions such as Down syndrome, Marfan syndrome or Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, their collagen is hyperextensible, meaning their ligaments are hyperextensible. Now, the main detrimental effect of this is you end up with instability. And I think the worst kind of instability is cervical instability. When a person, especially with Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, has cervical instability, that cervical instability then causes extra motion of the vertebrae. And even the spinal cord itself, uh, inside, this, inside the spinal canal, there's only like two or three millimeters of extra space. So if you have instability of the neck, that instability of the neck can cause the extra motion of the bones and that can actually not just pinch on nerves, but also pinch on the spinal cord. And the long-term detrimental effects of that for people with Ehlers-Danlos syndrome can be POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. It can be mast cell activation syndrome. And I think a lot of this relates to compression of the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve runs right along the anterior part of C1, C2, C3, C4. So how we approach this is we do a digital motion x-ray. The digital motion x-ray will show the extra movement of C1, C2, or wherever it is. And all it takes is a few extra millimeters of motion of C1 or C2, and that will cause compression of the vagus nerve. The compression of the vagus nerve, in my opinion, can cause things like POTS, mast cell activation syndrome, anxiety, leaky gut, and you might say, well, how could that be? Well, the vagus nerve is the repair nerve, if you will, of the body. So any sort of injury of the body, the repair of that tissue, including the digestive tract, has to go through the vagus nerve. So the best approach to resolving POTS or, or leaky gut dizziness, anxiety, when a person has cervical instability, especially somebody with Ehlers-Danlos or a genetic hypermobility syndrome is going to be to receive prolotherapy to tighten the ligaments. Prolotherapy to tighten ligaments. Prolotherapy injections are done where the ligaments attach to the bone and it causes a tightening of those ligaments. And once those ligaments are tight, stability is restored and so is the symptoms because the bones don't move excessively, they don't compress the nerves, so the dizziness, the tachycardia, the, the digestive tract, all these things start to get restored, the symptoms go away, and uh, the person lives a full active life, which of course is the goal of any medical therapy.